to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Click that button right down there at the bottom and turn on your notifications for every time that I upload a video. So I wanted to do a quick video. I wasn't going to do a video, but I figured this might be useful for other people because when I was researching this, I went straight to YouTube and Googled, um, you know, Christian Louboutin shoes. But anyway, so this is going to be really quick. What I'm doing is that I have the Christian, Christian Louboutin um, in the So Kate. This shoe is all famous. It's all the rage. It's a very sexy shoe, but it is not a comfortable shoe. So I was just trying to figure out ways to make it more comfortable for myself. Like, I think I've worn the shoe maybe once and baby, like, <laughs> it's not a joke. When they say this shoe is uncomfortable, it is indeed uncomfortable. Well, not uncomfortable in a sense that if you get your right size, um, that it would be painful for your toes, I guess. But in terms of the the arch, for me, I know for me, the arch was kind of a challenge. And I walk in heels all the time. So I was just trying to figure out ways, how can I make this shoe more comfortable for me? Did a little research and I found out that I can possibly get the heel cut down. So I wanna take you with me on my journey to get these heels cut down. I know these shoes are pretty expensive and I really don't want to cut them down in the event that something happens. But at the same time, I don't want them sitting in my closet and I don't get a good use for them. So I'd rather take the chance and try to get them fixed um, and get them cut down so I can actually wear them. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to take you on my journey to the shoe shop, showing you how they're going to get it, how they're going to do it. Um, and everything and I've done my research. I actually Called the store in which I purchased these from I purchased these from uh, Neiman Marcus, so they recommended a shoe shop near their store So I'm going to that shoe shop uh, that they recommended and I've went on Yelp I've read the reviews so they seem to have a good reputation and apparently a lot of people take their shoes there So these are the Christian Louboutin the So Kate and the what is it? The 120 millimeter, and that's basically the lift of, of this shoe. Now, like I said, it's a beautiful shoe, and I really want to wear it. But when I wore it that I think one time, it was only maybe like a 30 minute to an hour shoe. I need to turn this Billy into at least a four hour shoe. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, come with me on my journey to see how I get this shoe to a point where I can actually wear it. So this is the place where I'm going to get my shoes done. And we shall see. Yeah. Hi guys, so I'm back um, from getting my shoes prepared. And these are the results. This is what it looks like. I'm going to insert some closer pictures, but I just want to talk through the whole process. So today is Sunday and I figured I'd do a quick video because it is wash day and I need to hurry up. But anyway, so um, I dropped the shoes off on a Friday. So there was a two day turnaround. So I picked them up today. Today is Sunday. Um, the amount to have the heel cut and adjusted uh, was $70, but it was $70 because I also had the heel protector added as well. They call it the Vibram, but now the Vibram used to be kind of like a matte finish, but now they have the shiny finish to, uh, match the shoe a little bit better, which I like. So I have the shoe protector on. You really can't see uh where the shoe protector starts and where the actual shoe ends so that's good unless you're really really up close so i um i actually appreciate that uh feature of it so let me tell you so it was 70 dollars to get the heels cut and with the heel protector um the max amount of cut i think it was like a third of an inch so i went with the max cut um i went to it's called the shoe shop 
in my area that's a tyson's corner center mall the shoe shop was recommended from neiman marcus which they sent all of their customers there um so they're a trusted source and i trusted them as well um i haven't worn the shoes out in public or out on a night or anything yet but i have worn them around the house and i can tell the difference in terms of the heel height like it's not a lot that they cut off but i can definitely tell a difference in how they feel oh and another thing that i did to make my shoes a little bit more comfortable let me show you i use these thingies and you can get this from any i've had them for a while but you can get these from any shoe place they look like this and what i've done is basically i've taken this and i put this to kind of stretch this side of the shoe oh god and that's what it kind of looks like without you know um messing the shoe up too much and you just twist it basically like this to the width or how wide you want it to be so i've used that a little bit Ooh, i've used that a little bit to stretch this part of the shoe and I have to say, it has made a big difference in how this shoe actually feels for me. Um, so this is a win-win for me. I would definitely recommend this vendor, the manager at the shoe shop. And I'm looking down because I'm making sure I don't miss any points. The shoe shop manager is June. June Lee, he is a doll. <laughs> Not a doll in the sense of a female, but he's definitely uh, hands-on with it. He will answer all of your questions. Should you have any questions about the shoe? Um, I was a little apprehensive at first, but then I was just like, whatever, go for it. What can I lose but a pair of shoes? Nonetheless. Anyway, um, it was a success. I'm so happy I got these shoes cut and I'll be able to wear them definitely longer than I have before. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it, you guys. About That's it for now, good people. I'll see you later. Ciao.